Hi, it's the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your June 2017 mid-month readings. Thank you so much for joining us here today. Welcome to any newcomers who may be with us for the first time. Thank you for all your uh, wonderful support, feedback, and comments, your likes, your shares, and your subscribers. Your subscribers. Thank you for being my subscribers, for those of you who do subscribe. And uh, thank you to those of you who continue to reach out for personal one-on-one -on -one, one -on -one readings and keep me so busy with those today. I think I've had too much coffee, perhaps. And also, a thank you to my regular clients for being so great uh, with your consistent feedback and how our readings continue to play out in your lives. And if any of you are interested, in any personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me and you haven't read with me before you can click on the about or description button on my youtube channel's homepage. It has a little more information and my email address which is maggie the number one mcguire at gmail.com feel free to email me directly I would be delighted to work with you. Uh, current turnaround time for readings is anywhere from a few days upwards of two weeks but since I do readings full-time six days a week I'm usually able to get back with you pretty quickly and almost always set up a reading within a two-week period of time. I do love and romance readings, compatibility chartings, career work and finance, uh, channeled messages, year overviews, gift readings, and so on. So send me an email if you'd like and we will uh, set something up for you. So moving right along, uh, make sure to check your rising and your moon sign videos as well because these are general readings. There's so many of you watching and of course they're not going to mean the same thing uh, to the same degree and intensity for everybody watching. And uh, watching your other videos uh, may play out a little more predictively for you or just give you additional insight into what's going on in your life uh, because the specifics are going to play out differently for everyone who's watching although the energy fundamentally remains the same okay moving right along this reading is for Leo the fire sign of Leo Leo the lion for June 2017 mid-month let us see what the remaining couple of weeks of June have in store for our lions I will be drawing four cards two cards for each remaining week with an additional fifth card from the bottom of the deck for overall energy and guidance Leo show me Leo Leo the lion the fire sign of Leo for June 2017 mid-month what does the remainder of June have in store for Leo. Okay, Leo. We begin with the Knight of Swords, followed by the Seven of Swords. Three of Cups, followed by the Seven of Wands, and your overall energy from the bottom of the deck is the Ace of Swords. Interesting, Leo. So I'm already getting that for some of you, for a lot of you, and where you are in the story is going to vary because that's where, you know, it being a general reading and so many of you watching, I feel like some of you have found out something or have been told something. I'm getting kind of, some of this may be rumors or gossip. I'm feeling like... Okay, let's just go ahead and get into this. We find ourselves around the middle of June 2017, time being somewhat fluid as I always say, with the Knight of Swords followed by the Seven of Swords. So the Suit of Swords is all about words and, I, and ideas and how we communicate them. It's air energy, that's the element that governs the, the Suit of Swords. It's about our words and our ideas and our belief systems and our perspectives and how we communicate all of those things. Uh, so it's a cerebral, mental, intellectual energy. It's all about what goes on up in our heads and how we relate that. So the Knight of Swords, Knights are the bringers and deliverers of the tarot. And typically when you see Knights, they usually represent an offer, an opportunity of some kind. They can also represent the speed at which a situation moves because Knights, being the ones to go charging off to accomplish missions and quests, can represent sometimes obsessive, fanatical, uh, very single-minded uh, behavior as well, impulsive and spontaneous. The Knight of Swords would be bringing a message information of some kind uh, it could also be you uh, ex uh, bringing it to somebody else but I feel for the majority of you if not for all of you it's it's hearing something the Knight of Swords brings information ideas words uh, a message of some kind and the Knight of Swords can often represent an inconvenient truth or a truth that's difficult to take because it's delivered perhaps so bluntly some of the court cards of the suit of swords they're not one to to uh, mince words or sugarcoat anything 
they just are short, direct, to the point, and blunt. So sometimes when they're delivering messages or information, it can sometimes come across as a bit harsh or perhaps lacking compassion. I don't think it's necessarily meant to be that way. They're just like, here's the truth, here's the reality, here's the situation, so here you go. So sometimes it can represent uh, hearing a news or message or, or that's that's the truth, uh, but it's difficult to take because of the, the way it's actually presented. Uh, this may or may not resonate for those of you. It, it may just represent news or information that's difficult to take. It may be presented as the truth, and for some of you it may be the truth, and for some of you it just may be uh, a rumor or gossip. Now, it's paired with the Seven of Swords, and I feel like this news or message or information is about deceit or deception, lying perhaps of some kind, or maybe you find out about this. So Seven of Swords is sometimes called the Thief card. It can represent actual theft, uh, theft of actual, you know, like money, finances, property of some kind. Fundamentally, the energy is, is deception, slipperiness. It could be someone presenting themselves or a situation to be something that it's really not. Uh, it can also represent, on an emotionally energetic level, um, being in a situation or a relationship where uh, you're giving and giving and giving, somebody is just taking from you continuously, leaving you kind of feeling exploited, depleted, taken advantage of, drained, uh, or just being flat out deceived. So I feel like a lot of you, you've gotten this news or information, uh, for those of you for whom this resonates, if it doesn't, you know, check your rising and your moon sign videos. Some of you, I think you're, you're hearing something perhaps about a close friend, somebody you really trust. It could be even a family member or a work colleague. It could even be somebody that you're romantically involved in, although I feel like it's linked more to just a really close friendship or close connection that's not romantic, but for some of you it may be romantic. And you found out about some kind of deception either, and I feel like you heard something. Somebody's telling you something. For some of you, this is somebody telling you something about a friend or someone that you trust, someone that you're connected with. Uh, they may have, you may have, you may be being told that you're being taken advantage of or cheated or that they stole from you or that they lied to you in some way. You know, there's some kind of deceptive energy about that. For some of you, somebody else is gossiping about you. You find out that there's gossip rumors going on about you that are untrue or saying that you said or did things that are not true. It's kind of malicious gossip. It just kind of depends on where you are because uh, some of you are going to be on one side of the story. Some of you are going to be on the other Um but there's really a sense of defending after that. Either you're defending your friend or defending the friendship or defending the person or you're being defended by, by friends as well, which is actually kind of a lovely, beautiful energy as well. Uh, because for around the last week of June, we have the Three of Cups followed by the Seven of Wands. And I have to say, too, your overall energy and guidance is the Ace of Swords, which the Ace of Swords comes in and it cuts away all extraneous illusion. It, it delivers the reality of a situation. It exposes, clarifies, and illuminates the absolute reality and truth of a situation, too, and can represent uh, success as well. Um, so I do feel like the truth is going to be, you know, revealed. Um, it may not be till the end of the month or maybe going in the first part of July, but I feel like this is going to resolve itself pretty quickly. So after that message, after that Knight of Swords, Seven of Swords, whichever side of the boat you're on, whether you're hearing about something about somebody else or you're hearing that there's something going on around you, we have the Three of Cups and the Seven of Wands. So the Three of Cups, Cups is water energy, and this is emotional energy. Um, the Suit of Cups and the Tarot deals with the emotional area of our life and relationship areas of our life. The Three of Cups is uh, about good friends, kindred spirits. There's a strong social theme to the Three of Cups. It really represents um, that energy between you and people that you really connect with. It can sometimes rep represent best friends like sisters, uh, kindred spirits, people that you really connect with well, whether it's in your personal social circle or even at work, it can represent really connecting well um, with the people that you work with and around. Um, so it represents that good close kinetic uh, energy between you and your friends, other people that you're really close to, people that you feel you can be yourself with and vice versa. And it's paired with the Seven of Wands, which is a, a defensive card. This is a card of 
uh, standing up for yourself, standing up for somebody else, standing up for something you strongly believe in because of how much you have invested in it, which is what this man is doing. He's standing in front of the door to his castle, his keep, whatever it is that he feels strongly about, and he's defending it, uh, not in an aggressive way. He's on the defensive because he feels like it's being threatened or challenged somehow. So I feel like if you're hearing this news or information about a close friend or somebody that you, you know, admire, respect, or are close to, I feel like for the majority of you, I mean, whatever the rumor is, for some of you, it may turn out to be true. But for, I think for the majority of you, it feels like there's not, it's not true. Whatever you're hearing is not true. And I feel like you're being asked to stand by your friend or friends or your friends or, or if the rumor or the this news or information that's going on around you, maybe it's, you know, rumor mongering, gossiping, um, your friends are standing up for you and defending you, which is a really beautiful energy. Or you're being asked to stand up and defend your friend from spirit here. There's this, there's this sense of people standing up for each other and defending each other against whatever this news or information is. It could also be for a smaller portion of you that you and perhaps a group of friends are involved in something, a project or maybe a business, maybe you started a business together. It could be it could be that the news is coming in that there's some kind of problem with it or there's a deception around money, resources, investments of some kind. I'm getting a small little tingle on that. And you're being asked to kind of stick together, pull together, hold together. There may be somebody trying to come in and divide you for some reason. But again, however the specifics of it play out for you, because it's going to play out differently because there's so many of you watching and it's just a general video, the fundamental energy is standing up, guarding, protecting, defending. And your overall energy and guidance is the Ace of Swords. And the truth of this is going to be revealed. I feel like it'll be revealed within the next two to four weeks. Uh, things are going to come to light. The truth is going to be out anyway. Let me just look at the next card in the deck. Yes, we would have had justice in the upright position. So justice being served, whatever the outcome is, it's going to be fair. And again, for a small portion of you, this rumor going on around or what you're hearing may be true and you'll have to make your decisions on what to do based on that after after the truth is validated. But I think for the most of you, it's it feels more like slander, rumor, gossip, you know, um, and you're being asked to, uh, your friends are defending you or you're asking your friends to kind of, you know, you're relying on your friends to kind of, kind of cloister around you or you're being asked to defend and stand up for your friends or you, if you're involved in something with your friends and there's something, someone trying to come in or something, you're encountering something that's divine divisive to stick together and pull together because things I feel are going to end up working out in your favor anyway. So don't be too impulsive and spontaneous. Wait until the truth is revealed and do what you can if there's anything you can do. Sometimes the Seven of Swords represents needing to be a little undercover or be unconventional, unconventional about how you do stuff, maybe trying to gather information to find out if this is true or not. Um, but don't make any decisions based on just hearsay. Make sure that you have all the facts and that the truth is revealed before you, uh, you know, make any decisions to set something in motion. So uh, an interesting reading, Leo. I, and again, I feel like this is a situation that's going to play itself out pretty quickly over the next few weeks. So uh, Leo, that pretty much wraps up your June 2017 mid-month reading. I hope it was helpful that you got some insight and clarity. I'd be interested to see the feedback on what some of this is. Uh, what this is for some of you. It's a very interesting, the energy is very interesting in this reading. So uh, feel free to uh, make comments in the comment section or you can email me directly. And again, for those of you who are interested in a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me, you can also email me directly at Maggie, the number one, McGuire at gmail.com. Uh, you can also find that email address uh, on the about or description button on my YouTube channel. And you can also find me through that same address on PayPal uh, for donations and support of the channel. Channel. And thank you uh, as well for those of you who haven't continued to donate. Uh, very much appreciated. I will see you all again in a couple of weeks for the July 2017 general readings. And until then, Leo, as always, remember that I wish you joy, peace, blessings, and a happy life. And I hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.